Hello, it's Carol. I wanted to share with you a really cool feature that you might find useful. If you use Word and you sometimes have a document where the, the data um, is repeated throughout. So for example, my booking form, um, I would put the date of booking, the company name, the person who made the booking, the project description and a spec reference. And then further down that information is repeated. So the manager's name is under the signature. In the footer, I've got the manager's name and the company. And on the T's and C's, again, manager and company and the subject in there. So what I've done is kind of cheated um, the system and used document properties. Document properties, if you go into insert and quick parts, document properties can be found there. So this shows backstage information about this particular document. So this uh, booking form is saved as a template and every time I call it up, I would just type in the information. I can either type the date in there or you get a little drop down box, which is quite snazzy. The company, ABC company. The manager has got to be John Smith because he's the man. Uh, project description. I've actually got the project description saved in my clipboard, so I'm just going to paste that in there. Uh, a spec ref, SME, 01, 01. Right, so I've put the information in using the document properties. And what you'll find now is under the signature, John Smith automatically um, populated that field. In the footer, John Smith and the manager uh, and the company name is populated. And in the T's and C's, again, uh, the manager and the company, and you might not see it there, but that area there is the subject. How balls is that? And that'll save loads of time and it's so much more efficient uh, and more productive. So let me show you how to set that up. Here's one I've created earlier. So this is a form ready for me to um, use the document properties anywhere where the information is repeated throughout the document. So date of booking, for example, I would go into the insert menu and in quick parts, use document properties. Now the labels aren't exactly what you want. They're not going to describe what you want. For this training, I'm just going to show you how you would use the nearest match that you can. Um, so date of booking, I'm going to use publish date. And if I click into name of company, quick parts, and I'm going to use the company. Person making the booking, quick parts. I'm going to use manager. And for the project description, quick parts. I'm going to use subject and spec reference. I'm going to use keywords. And I think that's it. So one, two, three, four, five of those fields. There's a few of them are repeated throughout my document. What you can do is you could click onto um, the field, the document property field, and you could copy and paste it wherever you want it to be in the document. So that's one way of doing it. Or you can just position your insertion point um, and insert it again. So for this, I want the manager's name in there, the person making the booking. So I'm going again into quick parts, document property, and it was manager, the manager field that I used. I'm going to whip into the footer by double clicking and again I'm going to go into insert, quick parts, document properties and I want the manager, then I want to just quickly pop out of it, put a space, little hyphen and I'm going to do that again with quick parts and company. I'm going to scroll down my document, just double click to return back to my document. Now this first sentence here it's going to be the manager's name from the company. So I'm going to insert quick parts, document property, and it's manager. Make sure there's a space after that, which I think there is. From, and this time insert quick parts, and then the company name. So the manager from the company will be referred to blah, 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 blah. And then there's a gap there ready for me to put a description of the services. So I'm going to use the, if you remember at the front, I used project description was subject. So I'm just going to pop in there, quick parts, subject. All right, so um, the footer's got everything I want in. My terms and conditions have got what I want repeated and a couple of other, other bits on the front form. 
and that's it so I could then save as a template um, and then start to fill the form out so you'll find that you've got the publish date when you complete that publish date um, and the company ABC I like that company ABC company when you scroll down um, you'll start to see the data filling in uh, manager it's going to be good old John again Smith project description let's open the clipboard and I'll paste the text in keywords SME Ooh, who am I SME one uh, and that's it that's all the fields filled in so what I should find now is John Smith's been uh, populated in that field the foot has been populated uh, my terms and conditions have been populated look I missed a space there how could I I will need to change that on the template and that's it the foot is populated as well so I hope that's been of use to you sorry for me rushing um, but I just wanted to share quickly